I have some bad news. My subscription to Adult Coloring Monthly has come to an end, and unfortunately, I will not be renewing it. <laughs> Yeah, so I lost my job. For some context, Waterloo has this co-op system for interviewing and finding jobs. And there are cycles one through six and then continuous. No one ever really knows when continuous starts or ends. I don't know either. The point is that me being the absolute genius, Chad, Alpha, <laughs> I got the job in cycle one, meaning that for the next three months of school, I wouldn't have to worry at all. I could skip all my classes, play volleyball all day, generally just ignore all of my responsibilities. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I wouldn't, because I am a responsible student. <laughs> so cut to the day of, I'm two out of five exams deep into final season, it's 10 p.m. and I'm relearning how to integrate before my 9 a.m. exam the next day responsible. Mid studying I get a phone call. Now I missed this number twice already in the day because I was on do not disturb and honestly I would have kept it on do not disturb if I knew what was coming my way. So I pick up the call and it's my now ex new manager and I pick up all excited all happy because the job's almost here and then as soon as he says listen it's done blah 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 the economic climate is bad blah blah we have to let go of full times and interns blah blah your offer has been rescinded. I spent the last 12 months grinding, stressing, doing whatever I could to even have a chance at an internship like this one. And then I got it taken away from me with a single phone call at the worst time possible. Recruiting season was over, fall internships already bleak as it is, and I had three more final exams left to go. When I tell you I went through all the stages of grief, oh man. Number one was denial. During the phone call, all I could think of was this is a prank, this is a joke, haha, -ha, very funny, now say I'm on camera. Number two was anger, how could they do this to me last second? They obviously knew about it earlier on, why lead me on? I already get enough of that from women, and men, and my parents, and now my job? Number three was bargaining, hey, I know you guys fired me, but I could totally work for free. Do you guys have any washrooms you might need clean? Is there anybody particularly lonely in need of maybe like a, a little, little it's Chinese, a Chinese boy? boy. No? Okay. Number four was depression. I felt hopeless, numb. This one lasted quite a while. And number five is acceptance. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet still. Low key, I, I'm still a little depressed. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I know that ultimately it was out of my control and whatever work I put in to get to where I am now has not been put in for nothing. That said, I really don't want to fall behind. And I will be dedicating these next four months to making money moves. Tri tri triple, triple M. I hope that's not a gang sign or something. Yeah, so I guess welcome to Rescindent Diaries episode zero. If you've gone through something similar, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you did with your newfound free time. Let me know if you have any job openings because right now I'm broke and I need a job. And I'll do anything. I, I'll sell my body on the streets. I won't do that. I mean, unless. Oh.